Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building. Um, today I want to talk about something really, really crazy. Um, it's a PS4 exclusive gaming, of course. Um, Bloodborne. Now, this game, I think, I don't know the exact date, but I believe it came out spring 2015 this year or something like that. I think. But, regardless, I slept on this game. I totally, totally slept on this game. I bought this game in September. Okay? And uh, when I got to playing it, I'm just thinking to myself, like, how great this is. And I could not put this game down. It was like every night getting off work, Bloodborne, 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 just crushing this shit. You know what I mean? Um, it, it was so good to me that I actually put Metal Gear Solid Five down in order to finish this game because it was just so intoxicating to me. And I just can't believe that I slept on this game, you know? Um, starting out, when I first started playing it, I mean, like, uh, I was, like, totally confused as what was the plot of the game. You know what I mean? It's like you end up in this town and you're a hunter and you're hunting beast. You know, and then like when you look at like the graphical layout and some of the art direction and where they was going with it, um, it was kind of spooky to me. Not as spooky as like a, a zombie game, like, you know, like some of the greats like Resident Evil, you know, but just kind of spooky. You know what I mean? Then as, as I started getting into it, um, I had played Dark Souls 2. When that came out back in, whenever that came out, I think it was 2012, 2011, 2012, whenever that was. And I thought Dark Souls 2 was a great game. And when I finished Bloodborne, it actually made me go back to play Dark Souls 2 again. You know, and now I am like highly anticipating Dark Souls 3. So, people, if you ain't played Bloodborne and you have a PS4, this is definitely an exclusive you need to have. Um, I finished it. Uh, I defeated every boss except for one because I actually made a mistake at the end of the game, which I plan on correcting. But uh, I plan on doing another playthrough so I could get the last boss, the Moon Present. Um, I had four umbilical cords. If you know what I'm talking about in Bloodborne. Um, I had four umbilical cords, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't use them. You only need to use three out of the four. I didn't use them in order to fight the Moon Presence. You know what I'm saying? I end up uh, fighting and defeating Gearman, the first hunter. And I end up becoming Gearman, the guy in the wheelchair, which is not the ending that I wanted, but I was satisfied with it. I was more satisfied with that ending than the one where you get your head cut off and you wake up in the sunrise and you forget everything. So I was a little bit more happy with that, but I would have been happier if I wouldn't have made the mistake I made and fought the moon present. So um, other than that, uh, the hardest boss for me, I think, was Ebertas. Is that how you pronounce her name? Daughter of the Cosmos. Um, it took me a few times in order to get her down because she got like this, this lunge attack, and it, it was just so crazy. But it was fun doing. It was fun doing. Every time I fought her, it was fun. Doing. So it wasn't like one of the things where I kept getting pissed and. You know, you know how sometimes you get mad at a game and you can't do it right. Then finally, I finally got her. You know, all that gameplay is up on um, Nerd Tech 9 YouTube page. I'll leave a link down in the description for y'all to check that out. But I actually slept on this game. And I can't believe I slept on it. Bloodborne is a great game. Um, actually, may be my 2015 game of the year. That's how good Bloodborne was to me. Actually, maybe my 2015 game of the year. Um, between that, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, The Witcher, and I think I have one more in there. I can't think of that. You know, but Bloodborne is definitely the shit. 
So, if you have not played Bloodborne, that's definitely a game you need to go check out. You know what I mean? So, alright. This is your boy Pete Ross, and I'm out.